We are going to be writing the method to update a country. In the previous class, we actually uh, wrote a method to return a list of countries. So this is where we are at the moment. We can add a new country at this point and submit. But now this is what we want to achieve. We want to be able to update a country uh, and also be able to delete a country. So this is all these bells and whistles and the little icons here. We are going to talk about it a little later, but for now, let's just get to work. So there are the steps here. Um, I'm going to kind of restore this. In case you are joining for the first time, remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed. And also if you have any challenges, feel free to let me know and I'm going to help you solve it. All right, so the first thing we want to do is to add the, the, the update button to the HTML uh, page. So um, we are going to go to the table. So this is going to be, um, is going to be another table, um, another table column. So I'm going to call this uh, TD, TD, and I'm going to say slash TD. Okay, so in this column, we are going to have a button group, just like we have uh, here, we are going to have a button group of three, right? So again, I'm going to add in the header, I'm going to add the age, and it's going to be, the heading of the button group is going to be actions, and uh, the button group, I'm going to say div, div and class is equal to btn, btn group, all right, okay, so I'm going to say close up the div tag. All right, so inside this button group, we can now add our buttons. So this button I'm going to add will actually be an anchor tag. So I'm going to say a class is equal to btn, for button, btn primary and Okay, so let the class be btn primary. Actually, I'm almost done. So we have a slash a is going to be btn primary, okay? And I need to then, um, what else am I forgetting? Okay, um, let's see. Okay, so let's let's call it edit for now, edit. So the instruction says add the edit model, okay? So I'm going to save this. Um, so basically the edit model is about the same as the add model, except that we are going to just give it a name edit. Uh, so there is a model, I'm going to just copy it across, copy it and paste it as a second model. And at this point, I'm going to just call it edit model. All right, so now I'm going to give IDs to the Meanwhile, let's set it to update country. All right, so we are going to have the IDs at this time. So in this case, ID, let me call it description edit. Description edit. That's name, description edit. Because we already have a uh, control name description. So description. So this time, let's just call it description edit. So in this case, we are going to call it capital edit. Let's just append edit to all the names, to all the IDs. The name can be the same thing. There is no problem. So I'm going to call this um, codes edits. And I'm going to call this continent edit. And finally, I'm going to call this nationality edit. All right, so the the button uh, also have the submit and this BTM primary that is fine. Now the button in the table uh, is BTM primary, but I need to give it an ID. I'm going to give it an ID of edit button. ID is equal to edit button. All right, so one the situation when this edit button is clicked, it's going to launch the the um, the the modal pop up. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to write a short JavaScript code just to test that my modal pop-up is working. So I'm going to go to the JavaScript place. Uh, if I go to static and I go to JS, again, I'm going to create a JavaScript file for the country page. So to make it easy, it's better to just create a file for, the, to give it a name that corresponds to the name 
to the name of the of the pages works with. So I'm going to call it country. 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 I think I got it correctly. So lowercase, I think. Okay, so that's it. And I'm going to save. And finally, I'm going to add this JavaScript to the country page. So I'm going to just go down and I'm going to add it to the country page. Maybe I'll just copy the script and, and paste it again and then change the name. So paste it and just change the name to country.js, right? That's the name. The country.js, right? Okay. All right, so this country.js works with the country.html, so because it's in the country.html page. So what is going to be inside, actually, I need to rename it to country.js. So let's see, um, I think I have an option to refactor. Um, let's, yeah, refactor, rename. So it's going to be country.js. So it's going to have a JS extension, okay. All right, so, um, so at this point, we want to write a code that will display the modal pop-up when that button is clicked. So the first thing we want to do each time you want to write a code that will run after the document have completed loading. So I'm going to say document dot documents uh, dollar document dot ready function. Okay, uh, this function is. I need it to give me IntelliSense. It's not giving me IntelliSense. Let's give it a second. Okay. So I'm going to kind of close it and reopen it. Let me see. Country the JS. Okay. So it gives me IntelliSense. This is exactly what I was expecting. So uh, document that ready. Okay. So um, document that ready is going to run a uh, fun a function, and the name of this fun this function is going to run. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh, am I making all this mistake? All right. So document that ready is going to run this function. That is fine. Okay. Okay. So um, so whatever is happening, I'm going to now handle an event of click of clicking of that button. Let's see the name of the button. Let me see. Let's go to check the ID. I'm going to say what is going to happen when this button is clicked. So let me just, okay, the name is edit button. So when the edit button is clicked, this is how you do it. You are going to say, uh, going to say dollar hash edit button. And you're going to enclose in single quotes dollar hash edit button, okay. I'm going to say dot on click. So when the edit button is clicked, what is going to happen? I'm going to run a function. I'm going to run a, fun a function for the click event. So that function is going to be this. Um, it's going to be a function. Okay. So, all right. So I'm going to. I hope I'm not mixing up. Okay. So I, I think I made a, a little mistake. So run a function based on an event, okay, and the function is going to be this way. All right, <coughs> so this. So what's going to happen when the edit button is clicked? I'm going to display the modal pop-up form. So I'm going to say dollar dollar. And the name of the modal pop-up form is um, edit model. So I'm going to say edit model. Uh, dot model, right? Okay, for now, let's just test it. Let's just make sure everything is okay. So let's make sure that when we click the edit button, the edit model is going to show by running this JavaScript code. So I'm going to uh, run every. I'm going to uh, uh, run this application. Let me stop whatever is running and let me run this application. Clear my console. And let me right click and say run as, run as Spring Boot app, right? So what we are trying to do is when the edit button is clicked, uh, then we are going to execute 
how we are going to execute this uh, this this particular uh, item here that says uh, dot model dot models means show the model form. But since that button is inside a table, I think I would have used a table selector as well. So let's see. So uh, this is where we are. So if I refresh this page, we can see that we have the edit buttons here. So if I click it, nothing happens because this button uh, is inside a table. So I'm going to simply come back here and go to country. Uh, go to my country.js. And I'm going to say table uh, table edit button, right? So let me just make sure the name of the button is correct. So this is edit button, the ID, and the name of the model I want to show is edit model. Okay, so let's try again. I'm going to run it at this point. So the idea is we want to show the model pop-up when this button is clicked. And this uh, the pop-up we are going to be showing is the edit form, right? Okay, so uh, Tomcat started, and I'm, at this point, I'm going to go back here, refresh the page, and click on edit. Let's see. Okay, so there's an error in my country.js file. So let's see. Uh, there's an error in my country.js file here. It says line 9. Line 9 at this point. Okay, so I think I need to enclose this. Okay, so save everything and then run it. All right, so let's refresh, refresh the page, and I'm going to, let's just check that nothing is broken. Let me click on new country first. This one works perfectly. This time, edit. Okay, edit also works. And now you have update country showing here. And in this case, we have uh, add new uh, country. So we are going to uh, 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 correct that in a minute. So for now, we've completed this part. So in the next part, we are now going to see how to uh, retrieve the, 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 the properties of the item that was clicked and then use it to populate these test boxes on the update form. So if you are joining for the first time, uh, I'll try to remind you to subscribe. And also, if you have any challenges whatsoever, let me know by leaving a comment in the comment box below.